Indeed, good luck. Well, let's get more on the death of former Labour politician Tony Benn. Now, we're joined by George Galloway on the phone. Morning to you, George. Um, Ed Hi. Miliband uh, described him as an iconic figure of our age. Uh, you can't argue with that, really, can you? No, uh, and uh, I'd add the best prime minister we never had. Ever since the 1970s, I and many like me have been followers of Mr. Ben. He emerged out of mainstream Labour politics. In fact, he had been a cabinet minister in the 1960s, but began to break with the orthodoxy in the 1970s and remained outside the dictatorship of the prevailing orthodoxy until the end. He was really, really something you'd have to know and have heard Tony Benn in his pomp, at his height, to know what a truly, truly great and iconic figure he was. So what do you think we've lost in his passing, whether or not you agree with his politics? Well, he had a remarkable historical memory and experience. I mean, this is a man who was bounced on the knee as a baby of Mr. Gandhi, the Indian independence leader. Uh, he's a man who knew people who were prominent in politics in the First World War because, of course, he came from a political, uh, you could call it uh, aristocracy, but it wasn't originally aristocracy. It's one of the myths people have. They think he's a blue blood from uh, traditional aristocracy. He wasn't. His father was made a peer, but a life peer. But politically, he was pure aristocracy in the sense that his family had been involved in politics basically the entirety of the 20th century. And now with his sons, uh, especially Hillary, one of the Labour leading figures uh, into the 21st, this kind of historical sweep and the experience to know everything that we've been through, the turns that we've made and the turns that we didn't make but should have, meant that time spent with Tony Benn was absolutely captivating, enthralling. I mean, nobody in their right mind would ever have turned down the possibility of sitting, listening and talking with Tony Benn. George, thank you so much for uh, talking to us this morning. We also have Vince Cable, Business Secretary, on the line with us too. What are your thoughts on this morning? Well, it's, it's, it's very sad.